John, this is Bill Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? There's a little disclaimer here for you. And what we're going to do is, this has a bad heat element, and we're going to do the economy economy fix like this one here. I just fixed that with a couple of screws, but uh, the heat element has gone out on this one. And so we're gonna just put, a, we're gonna we're gonna restring heat element. So this is your your heat element, and we're gonna restring it on. These heat these heat elements are only like uh, seven bucks a piece. If you buy the whole thing plus the shipping, you know it's more like twenty bucks. Um, no big deal, but uh, I'm just gonna show you how to save a couple of bucks on this deal with the uh, restringing heat element technique. Okay, so I got the back off, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take the heat element loose here, a couple screws on this thing here on each side, and then take it loose here. Got to be careful with these things, you might have to take a screwdriver and pry it, but basically underneath this you'll see, the, you'll see what we're going to do. See, this is the one. This is the one I tied. You can see how I tied it. It could be a good temporary fix. Um, sometimes these base plates get cracked. Uh, this one here is, I think, it's still usable. There is a slight crack in it here, but I think it's still usable. What we're going to do is take this heat element coil off and then put the new one in place. Sometimes these ties can last for a long time. It depends. I normally clean these up real good before I tie them, but this one here I'm just going to swap out because I don't want to take a chance uh, on this coming back too quick. So we're just going to put a new one. Okay, so I drew a little diagram on how this thing goes. Basically set up here like this. So we're just going to unstring it and restring it with this other one. Okay, so when you're taking the old one off, you can kind of measure up the sizing with the new one. So I just take the old one off as I go and measure up the sizing that way. And then re assemble in reverse order. Pretty simple. Okay, I always double check this to make sure that none of these little coils are touching the side of this case. Um, basically, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in place and we're going to check it with the meter to make sure there is no short. Basically we take a meter, set it on ohms, and we're checking for a connection between the case and the heat element. And here we look we got a clear uh, clear signal. So basically there's no short between the case and the heat element. Uh, of course, if there was a short, the meter would indicate react, right? Okay, so this one's good. 